In last video, we understood about weak references. Now let's understand what is a soft reference. This video is a continuation of previous video. So make sure to watch the previous video to get better understanding. I'm not explaining same code again. So we have wrapped all these objects around the weak references so that at any point in time, if the strong reference object is null, these weak reference should point to null and JVM should release these objects. And this helps us to avoid memory leak. Now, similar to weak references, we have strong reference in Java. So what we have to do is we have to use this strong uh, soft references. So I'm just wrapping these objects around soft references. Let me perform the operation to all the places here and here. The moment we wrap these objects around soft references and we perform these objects equals to null at any point in time, if these objects are null, okay, the strong reference objects. So JVM basically checks that at any point in time, if there is enough pressure on memory, at that point in time only, this JVM basically garbage collect these objects. Okay, so if uh, JVM has enough amount of memory and when we perform this particular operation, when we uh, make these strong reference objects null, what JVM basically does is JVM holds these objects, okay, whatever the references that we have, JVM still let them stay in the memory. At any point in time, if JVM feels that there is enough amount of uh, pressure on the memory, at that point in time, JVM basically garbage collect these objects. So if we try to run this code, we notice that in the first, uh, in both the time before GC and after GC, we notice that we can still access these uh, uh, objects, okay. Let me try to force uh, JVM to release these objects. Uh, so uh, let me try to uh, allocate a huge amount of memory to the JVM, okay. So here we uh, made these objects equals to null. Now JVM basically checks at any point in time, if it has a pressure on memory, it should release these soft references, okay. Here I have created this uh, try catch block. Inside this, I just uh, keep on allocating memory to the JVM so that at any point in time, if JVM feels pressure, it may cause memory out of error. At that point in time, it will release these objects as well. So let's try to run this code. So let's analyze this uh, log. So, so we see that before GC, we can still access these uh, objects. Uh, when I started allocating memory to the JVM, JVM uh, had uh, memory out of error. So we see that after GC, we notice these both the objects are garbage collected. So that is the behavior that we are actually trying to see. So that's the use of soft references in Java.